I made this video recently about the six reasons why you can't lose weight if you're over 40. And it's got a ton of views, but it's probably raised more questions than it's given answers. So in this video, I'm going to go into detail. Hello fam and welcome to my channel. My name is Melissa Neal and this channel is all about helping you if you're a woman over 40 or like me over 50 get in great shape and it's a real struggle and I know because I had a real struggle myself I made a ton of mistakes I've actually made a separate video about but I've worked with hundreds of women seen thousands of women through my programs I know how frustrating this is because I was really trying and not succeeding the first thing I'm going to talk about and this is one of the most common things that happen is women do too much cardio and I did this and what I mean by cardio is not sort of gentle strolling it's either getting on a machine getting on a treadmill getting on an electrical going running strenuous cardio we want to be keeping it down to around about 30 minutes because what the overuse of cardio can do it's going to damage your metabolism by actually wearing your muscle down and we've lost muscle through the aging process and I'm going to talk about this more and what we want to be doing is building it back up. Did you know that you actually lose just under 1% of your muscle mass every year once you hit the age of 40? So what I recommend for you is you keep your cardio to up to around about 30 minutes and you actually turn it into high intensity interval training. That's going to be really much better for fat burning than steady state cardio. You don't even need to do 30 minutes. You can do as little as 10 minutes and really get a good impact from that. What high intensity interval training is kind of 30 seconds or around about 30 seconds to a minute of very intense activity doesn't have to be high impact, it can be low impact. 30 seconds to up to two minutes of resting or walking pace. And that's actually been demonstrated in lots of studies. It's much better for fat burning than steady state cardio where you do the same intensity throughout the workout. There's also been a study by the North American Menopause Society who say it's completely safe and it's more effective for fat burning and steady state cardio. So the second reason why you are not losing weight is you are not incorporating strength training. Strength training at this age actually trumps every other type of exercise that you can do because what it's going to do is going to build your metabolism. I mentioned earlier on that we've lost muscle through the aging process. Your hormones are also coming into play so that's why you find it really difficult to lose weight and you're perhaps retaining a lot more fat around your midsection. This is happening because of lowering estrogen levels. You can actually do something about your metabolism and that's strength training and I recommend three or four times a week. So I'm gonna link a video up here all about strength training if you're not sure what you need to be doing. The number three reason that you're struggling to lose weight is you're not eating enough protein. I cannot stress this enough. And I get so many comments and messages saying, how do you get all that protein in? Well, firstly, if you look at this channel and on my playlist, what I eat in a day, there's loads of videos that show you exactly how I get my 160 grams per day of protein in. What I recommend for you is one gram of protein 
for every pound in your body weight per day. So if you weigh 150 pounds, that means you need to be eating 150 grams of protein per day. If you weigh over 170 pounds, because it actually goes on lean body mass, go for your goal body weight. So calculate what your goal body weight is. Take in that amount of protein in grams per day. And at this stage in life, it's not just about calorie restriction. It's actually your balance of your protein, carbohydrates and fat. What pro taking your protein high will do is help your body burn fat more easily. It's going to support muscle growth, which is what you need when you're over 40, because as I've described earlier, you've lost muscle through the aging process and it's going to keep you satisfied. So you're not going to feel hungry when you're eating lots of protein throughout the day. I'm going to talk about calorie restriction because this is the fourth reason why you are not losing weight. Many women tell me, well, I'm taking my calories to a thousand calories, to 800 calories, even 1300 calories. So anything under 1300 calories is just too low for anybody. And the reason why it's not good for fat loss, it actually impacts on your body's metabolism. It's going to slow your metabolism down if you go on really low calories and you don't want that because you've already got slow metabolism, being an older woman, being over 40, and maybe like me going through menopause, your metabolism is going to be slower. So you don't want to do anything that's going to slow it down. And oftentimes when people are on really low calories, what they do is this diet binge cycle. And that's not what you need either. And that certainly happened to me when I was on low calories. So what happens is you get really hungry. You decide to kind of have a cheat meal or a cheat day. And then you can end up binging and overeating. 1300 calories is just not sustainable in the long term. You're not going to be able to do that week in, week out for months, if not years, to get to your goal body shape. So it's not sustainable in the long term. So anything that's not sustainable in the long term, you shouldn't be doing it because you're just going to get into that yo-yo dieting cycle and you want to go out of that. And do you know what? When I actually increase my calories to 1700 calories and over, sometimes I could take in more than that. I never go under about 1600 calories. When I took my calories higher, I actually lost more weight because I had more energy for strength training and my body's metabolism actually improved by taking my calories higher. So if you're worried about it suddenly increasing your calories, what I would advise you to do is just walk them up slowly by adding 50 calories in per week or maybe every couple of weeks. And that's a good way to do it. It's called reverse dieting. And I have made a video about that. And everything that I'm talking about in this video is covered in my membership program on my iPhone and Android app. And you can actually try out some of the features on my free seven day program on this app. And if you like the seven day program, you can sign up for the full membership program, ranging from exercise to nutrition, to sleep and stress. So we've talked about diet and exercise, haven't we? And now I'm gonna go into a bit more on lifestyle. These are the things that people don't necessarily always associate these things with weight loss and they are absolutely massive. They can make a huge impact negatively or positively. My number five reason that you can't lose weight and maybe I should have put this as the number one reason is lack of sleep. And why is that? Well, what happens when you're older is you're going to have reducing levels of hormones like estrogen. And we don't want to disrupt those hormones because disrupting those hormones causes all sorts of problems with our body, including its metabolism. Poor sleep can actually lead to insulin resistance. 
It can lead to glucose intolerance, to sugar cravings, impacts on hormones like ghrelin and leptin that control appetite. Do you ever get that? I know I get that where I've got the cravings, high sugar, high carb, high fat foods. And you're probably screaming at the screen right now because you're thinking, well, that's all very well, Melissa, but it's a real struggle to get sleep at this stage in life. And I'm exactly the same. I really struggle with my sleep and I have to be intentional about sleep. I have to work on it. It's not going to come easily. Even if you can work on getting, say, 30 minutes more per night, it could make a huge difference. Think about your use of technology and cutting it down towards bedtime. That's really going to help because close screen time it gives off a really stimulating light that is not good for your sleep pattern even if you get to sleep easily and you wake up later in the night the screen time is not helpful for that you can look at supplementation so things like melatonin l-theanine and valerian root or even cbd oil those can be really helpful especially if you've got into like a really bad pattern and you want to get back into a good pattern and look at making your bedroom a kind of calming relaxing environment and using those relaxation techniques you know go online and do a bit of research with it but just don't do it just before you're going to go to sleep because I promise you you can work on it and it can get better like it did for me. The number six reason why you can't lose weight it could be stress. Of course high stress levels are connected to poor sleep aren't they so the two things can go together if you're highly stressed you can end up not being able to sleep properly. And I know what that's like. If you're really struggling to lose weight and you're highly stressed, you're gonna have raised cortisol levels. It can actually impact on your thyroid function, your T3 and your T4 levels, which regulate your metabolism. Again, just like poor sleep, it can also cause insulin resistance, reeks havoc with your hormone balance and you know that in turn really impacts on your metabolism so it is worth working on stress management i'm not a stress expert i'm not a mental health expert it's definitely worth recognizing if you are stressed looking at things like getting out walking yoga relaxation techniques, relaxation audios. If you need to get outside professional help to help you with stress management, it's a really good idea because it's not just going to help you with your weight loss, it's going to help you with your overall health. We do lead very stressful lives and now when you're in your 40s, 50s, 60s and beyond, it's actually a really good time, I did this, to take stock of how you're living your life and live your life a bit more on your own terms so that you can actually relieve some of that stress in your life. Do any of these six reasons why you can't lose weight resonate with you? Please drop me a comment below. I'd love to know. Some of the stuff I've talked about, I have definitely experienced it. And when I got on top of it, it made a massive difference.